Okay, hello everybody. I let's see you should I don't think this is right. You should be able to hear me right now. And uh looks like we have uh, some people chiming in. Hello hello uh Claire and Jennifer, I think. Um and Carla and I don't really know how to say your name. Uh, Anna, 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 Anna <laughs> Dia. Well, sorry if I <laughs> butchered your name there. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I, I, uh, I couldn't really read it. Um, anyway, uh, sorry for the sort of half-second delay there. The YouTube comments didn't seem to be working. Hey, there's Jackie. Um, so anyway, everything seems to be working. Um, I have done a test recording, and as far as I can tell, everything is uh, Heidi. Oh, okay, Heidi. Okay, cool. Um, anyway, so uh, I've done a test recording, and everything sounded good, and so uh, I'm ready to, uh, you know, to see what happens here. Um, as always, I changed the format up a little bit, but it's really, um, it's really not that, um, that, that major. Um, I'm still in making an effort to try and clean it up a little bit. And uh, tonight, one of the cameras, two, there's gonna be two cameras on Sheila tonight, um, just to give another perspective, and we'll play with that. Um, one of her cameras is gonna be labeled wrong. <laughs> so anyway, um, welcome, everybody. One sec. Um, so anyway, uh, tonight we're going to be talking about footwork, and here's what I think is happening with this class and what I hope is happening for you guys. First of all, I hope you're doing great. Uh, thank you for sticking with me. Um, but what's kind of happening is uh, this class is, is really kind of falling in, and it makes sense that it sort of feels like my local classes, and I keep saying that. And part of uh, the local class is uh, it's like a yoga class. Like you, you're not just going there to learn uh, brand new poses every time you're you're going to do yoga or to to be in that yoga container space activity, and so uh, the, a lot of these classes are that way now, and I'm really starting to see that. And I was um, stumbling through YouTube today, and I can't remember exactly how it happened, but suddenly I was seeing all these like hoop tutorials, and like recently made hoop tutorials of lots of different cool moves um, broken down like a million different ways by a million different people and some of them had like hundreds of thousands of plays uh, I know Deanne Love does uh, a bunch and so it made me feel kind of more comfortable in not teaching specific moves you know like wedgies and escalators and things like that um, there's stuff that I don't really do a lot of I might do some kind of weird Baxter version of it but um, oh sweet hi from Vancouver <laughs> um, but, uh, and by the way, thanks everybody for chiming in, um, but there's loads of space to learn those. And then I'm totally aware that, you know, if I was you, uh, there might be a moment where I sort of veer off of the class but still listen to the things I'm saying or whatever and do those kind of moves. Um, so uh, I hope you're digging the vibe of the class unless I, you know, uh, change my mind or get different feedback from you guys. I think we're gonna sort of stay with this kind of hoop companion idea. So tonight I wanna jump in um, I really want to start, make sure I have class started by 7.10 now. So um, with tonight's class, with all that being said, this is an activity class that's really meant to get your feet moving. But this is not like a footwork dance class where we're going to learn steps or anything like that. Mostly what this means is that the emphasis of every single exercise, hopefully, will be our feet. And then the way I usually teach these classes is I kind of, sometimes we do, it's usually core heavy, but sometimes we bounce all over the place, all right? So thanks for everybody for chiming in and saying what's up. Um, one thing to consider, uh, and for those of you watching this in replay, oh, by the way, replays, this is a new thing, high quality re uh, replays go up the next day ish. <laughs> it takes so long <laughs> to load from here. It took 24 hours or something to load the last one, but the quality is so worth it. So if you're watching this on replay, if you can wait, just hop over uh, one frame over to the left there and try the higher quality version. Uh, sweet, Kelly. Thank you um, for that. Okay, so uh, as always, my... Uh, 
housemate and friend, Sheila, is there. You can sort of see her knee. She's laying on the ground. She likes to start off that way. We're going to move into Sway. If you're new with me, uh, if this is your first time seeing the class, um, I hope you're getting a vibe from me. I, th- I teach in a more exper- um, experiential way um, where, you know, and less of um, like whiteboard kind of way, although I have a whiteboard, um, but less of that. And so uh, the class is really meant to teach just enough that you still have room to be creative. So uh, we're going to jump straight in. Um, and oh. okay. Oh. okay. All right. Please chime in if you're here. Now, I'm going to turn off on this screen. We won't be seeing the comments and things like that. But um, So we have two great versions of Sheila's knee right now. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> okay, here we go, class. Thank you for uh, hopefully you're getting a laugh out of this. Folded as I usually do. If you're here for the first time, hmm. if you're here for the first time, sway means you can move any way that you'd like to. Sheila is, is maybe still lying down. You could stretch. This is your time to get warm. Let go. Audible breath in. Dan, which is the myth that my teaching is based on. The body is seen as two trees, a right tree and a left tree. And your feet are the deepest reaches of those roots. And your toe would be the deepest root. And my Dan imagined that when I pull my foot up, that root comes all the way back up into the tree, can become light, but then when it places itself back down, it pushes that root back deep into the earth to a connection that's deeper than the surface of the floor, beneath that and beneath that and beneath that. Audible breath in. Feet as my roots. This conveyor of energy that comes up from the earth itself. Audible breath in. If you're watching for the first time, we move any way we want to. During sway, I like to go blindfolded just to help me relax. Audible breath.
you to bring your awareness to your feet if it's not there already. And by awareness, I mean that you turn the lights on in that foot, in each foot. And with the lights on there, you can see more clearly every little movement your feet make to stabilize you, to support you, to lift you, to move you. Audible breath. Sweet, Alice. <laughs> Lauren, you're here. Sweet. All right. We're going to keep moving into one sort of guided sway here. And we're going to work on balance. But particularly, we're going to start to work on articulating our feet when we have an off foot. So you don't have to keep a foot up. But when that foot is off the ground, it's no longer bearing weight, then I'm gonna dance it a little bit. Okay, just like Sheila's doing. She's doing something we call drawing. I thought I should turn my foot. I actually have a I'll footwork cam tonight. <laughs> so I'm bringing my feet up. The off foot, I'm considering, and it articulates. I think it was last week in class that we talked about how we can feel wind on our feet. Feeling that wind will sometimes make the movement feel a little more organic. Nice. Sheila's got very good balance. TJ, welcome. Getting the heart rate going. And the reason I'm asking you to do balance is to wake up the legs. Because here's what happens. As I move them, they activate. As they activate, they get lighter, much lighter. Sometimes you have to push through a little fatigue or push through a little you know, lethargy or whatever it is in your movement to actually find the excitement that you're looking for. Sweet. All right. What's that? It actually was looking pretty cool because of your uh, your footwork. Um, yeah, but you're right. It needs to be somewhere else. Okay. We're going to grab our, our hoops now. And, uh, yeah, I'm planning on playing some hip-hop tonight, so I'm hoping that uh, Facebook doesn't uh, get too mad at me. Okay. Hope you guys are here and having fun. Okay. We're going to warm up to really wide stances now, really power stances. And so what I want you to do, if you have the room to do it, is to take emphatic, sort of dramatic steps, right? Then raise, and then move to another one. Whatever you do with the hoop doesn't matter. I, you know, if you want to do what I'm doing, I'm just doing a simple isolation. This is me tracing with my foot, well not tracing, but following. And then this is me taking big sumo steps. You know, big, keeping my stance really wide. 
when you take the, the really wide stance and you keep those legs pushed out, you'll feel, don't hurt yourself, but you'll feel pivot coming through that rooted foot. Head. Sweet. Elizabeth City. There you go, Sarah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I agree, Lon. There is something about being Lon. Now, I'm taking big steps. Now, I'm going to go ahead. Everybody dances differently, but I want to wake up my legs up. So I'm putting a little bit of a up and down. If you're a beginner, I really want to emphasize to you that I don't need a single trick. And what I'm doing right now is, is athletically conditioning myself. Nice.
all I was saying is that when we do these samurai horizontals, for pausing them and especially for sending them back, I'll get up here so you can see me in both angles. There we go. I'm using my feet, I'm using that footwork. I stop it with my legs. Boom. Boom. Okay. All right. We are going to hop over. I really hope Facebook doesn't uh, kick us off. Uh, I think I've played this song in class before. You guys dug it. But um, actually, we're going to go ahead and start off with light feet right now. <laughs> okay, let's do some footwork on the waist. Now what we're going to do tonight, it might be tough if you're hooping on the beach, but what we're going to do tonight, we're going to stay with the footwork, and we're going to practice a very gentle version of something called hot coals. Hot Coals is this, you imagine that you're this total badass in control of your mind and you can walk across hot coals as long as you keep your feet moving, as long as they don't stay too long, you don't get burned. In fact, you're so good at it that you can kind of dance over it. Running through rhythms, proceeding in the torch twice. Flowing on melodies help me make my thoughts fly. Stay inebriated through music, I'm off my. Rock a rocking into the depths of the lost eye. Jumping off a cliff in the faith of a fall guy. Never falling, knowing the heavens we all fly. Fourth dimension rocket ships telling you all by. Wake up from your slumber, my children, it's all lies. Money just like everything else, it all dies. Itself is lost, and it's still can I get a dime sack to help me focus on wealth, not material wealth. Cause true now, wealth I'm gonna start to put steps into mine. Those, I'm still like staying with my hot coals, keeping my feet up off the ground. If you're a beginner, like stay a upright if you can. Stay upright. Pitching is something you have to work out later. So it's better just not to start off with that burden. Nice. Sheila's doing a good job. She's got her hands in flight. She's got, put the pen to the you know, she's got action the throughout the whole body. Get what it's through me without no thinking. About it, no doubt about it, part of my being. Came in to open the spirit and let you see it. It's time to let it off without no further seeking. I follow it as I hear it about to begin. Follow the light as I take you on a journey deep. In. If you're a total, the side of the light, you might just want to be in. You can do some well, things. Like I'll show you, show you here in the close-up can. Go on and you can do some seeking. things. Like you can teach yourself. All right, the I'm going to step voice forward to the right, be on your side. And you're then I'm going to step back. Then I'm going to step to the left square. Right? Then I'm going to hop over to the right top. Right? And back here. Okay? See, my point is that I can take a box. Everything's all right now. When you're living in the light now, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, is getting poorer, so niggas just take off. Uh, if you're getting Scratching a little bored, bored I can bring my hands role. into it, like she was doing. The great soul. Cultivate an image, but it was off the show. Blow if I don't know how to dance to a style of music though. that they're playing, dollars, I can just, you know, if I'm in my hoop, I can just, you, can you know, do weird drills or shapes or whatever. I happen to like this song. I can hoop smiles. All the replays are in better quality right the next day or something. I'm working on the footwork. This is the space, as I mentioned in the beginning, that we can train together. That we can have fun together, meditate together. Good. Now, if you can, I can come up to the shoulders here. And I'm still keeping that hot coal, still keeping my feet moving. And some of you might find this harder to keep your feet moving while shoulder hooping. And that's an indication of just how much energy you are getting from 
that planted foot. And so when you start to move the feet, you're going to have to find a way to compensate so that the hoop doesn't walk on you. All right. Yeah, that's going to get us kicked off. <laughs> okay. Um, I want to just keep moving. I'm really having fun with this. I don't think we need a break yet. Uh, I've played this song before. I think some of you sort of like it. But now we're going to talk a little bit more about footwork and rhythm with the feet. And instead of worrying so much about hot coals, we're going to allow our feet to plant, but to spin, you know, to, to, to twist and pivot on that room. planted spot with shoes, without shoes, barefoot, so doesn't really matter. So, you know, the slicker the better maybe in some time. Good. So you're adding another control. motion, which is this twist, right? This old, old school way. And then, you know, depending on your dance history or just the way you've grown up moving, some people are more naturals at a rock step than other people. But it's, I'm not thinking of it as a dance move right now, but just a way of, you know, swishing your energy back and forth. I put one foot in front of the other, you know, at some distance. And then the two legs kind of work together into their resistance to create, you know, a rock. I can lower into my legs. Nice. Damn, baby girl, don't you stop. Let's get the heart going. Damn, baby girl, don't you stop. Rock steps really help you in shoulders. Let's come up to the shoulders, see if we can. You gotta dip it. Sometimes the best way to get the energy you need for shoulders is to develop a good rock step. One of the ways you can learn how to not turn my shoulder too. Ooh, baby, get a good rock step going. I'm shaking the whole court course out here. Back and forth. Leave me breathless like I got asthma. Now come up with a new addition. And see the physics on your competition. No, nah, girl, you I can really get that rock step in and work it up, I really don't have to move my arms very much at all. <laughs> Kelly, change your plans. Come back. Nice. So I can bring in hot coals and this sort of rock step rhythm. Start to get pops. And I can do all this, of course, at the waist. Damn, baby girl, don't you stop. Damn, baby girl, don't you stop. You gotta dip it, pop it, shake it, drop it, dip it, pop it, shake it, drop it, dip it, pop it, shake it, drop it. Damn, baby girl, don't you stop. You gotta dip it, pop it, shake it, drop it, dip it, pop it, shake it, drop it, dip it, pop it, shake it, drop it. Damn, baby girl, don't you stop. You gotta dip it, pop it, shake it, drop it, dip it, pop it, shake it, drop it, dip it, pop it, shake it, drop it. You gotta dip it, pop it, shake it, drop it, dip it, pop Okay, sweet. All right. Uh, grab some water if you need it. Um, I know that we are kind of doing a lot of work, but I kind of want to stay here and then maybe chill out um, a little bit later. But let's keep the energy up while we've, while we've sort of got it here. And uh, <sighs> all right, 
this is everybody's favorite song. This is a hip hop song, but there's uh, kind of some words in this one. But uh, but we're gonna. Another Mike Diesel production. What's your name? Okay, we're gonna go back to some chords. Your dad is rich, dad is rich. Is he rich like me? And then as the class goes on, I'm gonna hold you a little bit looser and looser here. Because I want you to, you know, when you start to feel flow, that's what I want you to do. And what I'm hoping is, is that, you know, that we've actually, that we actually now uh, have our feet already activated, so I don't really have to remind you as much. Uh, now we're going to talk about turning with the current and against the current, especially if you're the beginner, knowing the difference I got a million, you got an ass so bad at a kilothon. We can get it on, if we get along. And you're fresh in the chest, not silicone. What I'm sitting on, you can put a midget on. You can take a stretch out his little mini on. Then roll him round, yeah, it's going down. Get a sound, sound like I might get the ground. I see you juice, you purse, see you fly band. Maybe take a double look when I drive past, so I double back. And I hopped out. Hey, stop tripping on the door. That's not chop out. Is your daddy rich? Is he rich like me? Has he take us any time to show you what you need to do? Is your daddy rich? I'm turning with there I am. I'm turning with the rich like me. I can start to see how the current. Well, help me find my steps. I'm just kind of floating a foot out there right now. Going back to that wide step. Got my mind, got my grind, got my money, y'all. Got my twenties, got my fitness in my hundreds, y'all. He can't, she can't, y'all can tell me why. Pipes on the bike, eight pipes on the Hummer truck. Homie, what you doing today? Wait, 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 wait. Man, seven years, I've been hating on me coming up. Boy, I ain't raw, I ain't really get your number. I ain't in the hammer down. What I look like, a bummer? Got a sweet potato, nine eleven, Thanksgiving cup. Got twenty six, thirty eleven, sitting on the truck. Fucking in the spring, got my wrist in the car. Asking mama, who's your daddy? Young rich, full of fun. And my feet will want to do that cool thing on the ground that they were doing earlier. Is he rich like me? Has he take us any time? I like this song too much to talk with. Just keep the rest of the list. We're turning with and against the current. And seeing how that relationship changes your steps. Is he rich like me? Has he take us any time? Show you what you need to live. What you doing? What matter? What the trouble is? We online right now. What the bubble is? Yeah. Nigga talking bitch facts. I'm a double is. Back. Need another wife? Give another rib. Ooh. Fuck around last night and got another kid. Yeah. From the kid, fuck around and got another crib. Why that boy whack go on some other shit? Yeah. Keep brothers ain't on no bib and mother shit. Yeah. Love a bitch, love a jack, be a double bitch. What? You on my team, well join in the huddle, bitch. Get in the kitchen, make a jump, make it bubble, bitch. Yeah. Who the man? Who the shit? Who's your daddy, bitch? Is your daddy? Is your daddy? Is he rich like me? Has he take us any time to show you what you need to live? Is your daddy? Is your daddy? Is he rich like me? Has he take us any time to show you what you need to live? Hey, 
stereo pump pump material boy the mother's cold front oh, front okay. you ain't got the glow you ain't got nothing nothing you would not be man you would just okay. boy sorry about this um, so here's what we're talking about you're gonna lift your heels up off the ground like you've got little air cushion springs underneath your heels. Let's go see. The few superstar come to bite on me. Sorry. Hey, just let me know. I'm at the finish line. They ain't even say go. I know a couple of girls that never say no. I think we've got a little bit of delay. So I'm moving on top of my heels. So, so. Feel this because we I did a whole workshop series on this actually. I was at the dealership looking at a bin, cushion, a little, you know, soft, cool of air, springy pillow of air underneath my heels. Sorry for the blow, and don't try to me. I know what I'm doing. And now what I want you to do is try something that you know, like we were just doing, it might be a little bit harder. I want you to see how it feels any differently, right? So come up to your shoulders if you can't shoulder loop. I be making moves even insane, but in real life. Is it any easier? Is it harder? This is what we do. Don't go to work. What happens when you come up to the shoulders or the chest? And you keep the heels. Keep the heels up off the ground. Right. Feel how different that feels. I don't want you to strain your feet. Say no, sick of reason, just want to hit the beach. But back to the grind. I could keep it going without doing no lines. How about you? Chase me like a cool heels off the ground. And for me, this position, you know, isn't a place that I would always want to stay, but it helps me sort of develop control at the front of my foot. My toes on the floor. I'm doing their best to root down. Noticing is that I'm getting a lot of graceful pop on the hoops, some graceful push on the hoop of just raising my heel up off the ground. to make it its own exercise but, you know i can do a little skating you know by just not like lifting the foot but not lifting it completely off the ground okay all right okay big breath in we're going to do one sp more heart Sprint. This last song will be the, the last of the upbeat ones, and then we'll, we'll move into some slower stuff. Uh, thank you guys, as always, for joining me. Um, I'm hoping you're digging all the layout. I'm trying to kind of get it a little more simple and clean. I'm really digging that you can see the comments. Um, but, you know, keep me posted on what you think. Okay, so this is, this is probably, like, something I want to offer to people that have been struggling to learn angle hooping. Because this is a different, because with angles, it's very hard at first. In fact, it's so hard, we have an expression called put it on wheels, because it's really hard at first to, to get unrooted from angles. And I don't know exactly why, I'm not smart enough to know what, what causes people to do it, but it's hard, and eventually we have to kind of slowly like sort of pry them up. So there's one technique that you can, one way that you can angle hoop that kind of can help you learn how valuable your feet can be to you. And it's a little bit easier. So we're going to do some neck hooping. And what I want you to do is to pitch yourself just a little bit forward so there's no danger of the hoop hitting your knees or whatever. And then what I want you to do is raise, just like we were doing before, raise the heels off the ground, okay? Just a little bit, nothing to strain as you set the hoop into motion. And then I want you to see if you can just pretend to bounce 
on that sort of you know cushion of air underneath your heel. Okay, so here we are. I'm here, and I'm just going to start bouncing. Sorry. Okay. Now, even if I can't feel that bounce, I can drop those heels, and then I can bounce at the knees. I can bounce at the legs here. I've got kind of a steeper angle than I really want. Something like this. Right? And then this is something where if I, that twisting on the, that twisting of the feet, like the way we were moving them on the surface this way, sometimes with angles, it can be beneficial to think about the angle of the twist as you like are coming up. It's almost like the, the energy is coming up, but also getting added a twist coming up from the, the legs. For me, it would be outward, I think. So I'm here and I'm going to, I'm going to start with my heels, and then I'm going to move into my legs. But then from my legs, I'm going to start to feel like the front of each foot turn into the new direction. And what that's going to do is you'll see me start to, nice, Sheila's doing it. <laughs> At least one person's got it. So, so it's here. I, I bounce on my heels. I start to bounce on my feet. And then I turn. As I come up, I'm turning this foot into this way, then turning this one into this way. I wouldn't overthink it because it's kind of almost natural to do it. And you may have like a different version of this. And then, I hope I'm not driving you crazy with my mic hitting this, but uh, thanks, Jen. Um, but if once I, when, you know, when people talk about your angles wanting to walk on you, you know, it wants to move. Um, one of the things you can do is, what that means is that one side is dominating the push, right? And so you can find, and, it, and you know, you're always in balance this way, back and forth. But one side is pushing. You see how I have a crisscross of push? It's coming from my left foot through my right shoulder, my right foot through my left shoulder, some, you know, manner of that. So. Okay. All right. Yeah, since we're lun running low on time, let me put some music on. And then let's... All right, so we're going to work into angles. Blow that trouble, girl, when you blow that bubble, girl. You know that's trouble, girl, when you blow that bubble, girl. I don't know what's going on with me in the playlist. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and see if I can start. And I'm going to lift my heels up. And I'm going to see if I can start to bring in some left and right. If I know how to shoulder hoop, I can bring a shoulder to my either one of my ears. I'll just touch an ear with my shoulder. Boom, and then I'm back. The way she work it make me wanna spend hell on my cheese, buy her a ticket, and bring her to Coachella with me. Even, even my mama could curse, but bubbles to dinner and yeah, she brought all of them curves. She got my straight home girls trying to holler at her, but she signed a blind baby. Yeah, had the autograph. Uh oh, mouthpiece and trouble cuz try to start a conversation, but I just stuttered up. Twerky. Mama, she can cut a rug, call me ass kisser, cause I'm just trying to fuck her up. All day we having fun in the sun, and that night she give it to me like a front of her son. Uh, booty BPM like a hundred and one. Drummer boy on that butt like a rubber bum, bum. Boy on that butt like a rubber bum, Drummer boy on that butt like a rubber bum, Drummer boy on that butt like a rubber bum, Drummer boy on that butt like a rubber bum. Touch the ear, because I want to bring it down onto the shoulders. Oh, that's trouble, girl, when you blow that bubble, girl. Nice. Nice. So she's got a good bounce. She's got a good control. She's basically teaching her body right now how to maintain that as long as possible. Once I have any measure of success, if I want, I can start to put wheels on it. And this is where we get into the footwork part of tonight's class. Because I'm keeping my feet light. And so because I'm doing that, I can kind of step more. I can take like a big step and up. Big step. And some 
ways, Cushion angle game, hooping plus, is kind of easier for taking the big step. Makes it hard to be out here trying to function, they didn't have to get at her, she would rather on my neck right she now. quick to come and get it, wasn't dragging her feet. Now I stay up on that booty like my passenger seat. 24 steps, smashing like some rabbits in heat. In the club, push me up against the wall. Player where I usually stay posted up like wall. All right, Back to let's try one more approach to a different part of the body, like and then we'll free hoop and get out of here. Thank you guys for joining me, by the way. All right, so now we're going to talk about more traditional angle hooping. And this time I want you to lift the heels. Again, do that lift thing. Pitch forward. There you go. Okay, this is something I wanted to cover last time in the angle class that I forgot to cover. One of the things that really helps in angles to establish them is to push down in one direction and Bring up your back with your miss uh -oh. hip hop uh -oh. <laughs> hard truth. <laughs> okay, I love that song, but that's, <laughs> that's going to be good. Okay, this will be our last song, but this is just something I wanted to mention about um, angles here. If I lift my heels up, so what I'm, what I'm getting at is that I have to push down with the front of me and up with the back of me. So as I lean forward, that's downward push, downward push, downward push. But as you know, my backside as night comes up, that needs to be pushing up, right? Nice, there you go. There you go. And so if you're having trouble getting a hoop into an angle, focus on pushing, you know, like if it's earth, push down, but also think I need to pop up. That sort of, you know, might be counterintuitive, but like, that I'm not really, the down part's kind of easy. It's almost the pop up is the harder part. Good, Sheila, good. Good. And then, you know, not to overcoach, but if I lift my heels even just a little bit, I get even more zip on the hoop, and that'll help me learn to grace up with it. And then I can start to put this on wheels. You know, this is kind of maybe a little bit more beginner, but I can take my angle and take a step forward. My angle. Right? Now, I'll, I'll grant you that when you go to sky angle at the waist, it's a little bit harder to lift the heels. It still works, but it's just harder. But thinking about the energy coming up from your feet as you drop back into sky, I mean, I'm still, lift actually, I'm still lifting my heels. Nice, good. Now I need to get, I need to slip under the hoop and push up. So, so think about the motion, you gotta get under it, smoke, drop this back and push this up. And the reason I'm teaching this on footwork is that if you can keep these legs going that we've been working on all night, you might get more power than you need. Reduce the ab load. <laughs> Of course, you know, maybe you turn your feet in more, maybe you turn them out more, maybe you bring your feet together more. Heart rate up. Good. Class will be Monday night, seven o'clock. I will definitely be doing a jam. I might do a couple of things this weekend. I'm gonna be flying solo here at the house. So <laughs> I'm gonna do what everybody does when they're bored. Now I'm gonna live stream. <laughs> to bend back and forth like this, pivoting from here. But the body's made to do this sort of a bounce. 
so whatever the angle is, if I can, instead of doing something awkward like this, if I can keep stepping, keep stepping at you. Keep stepping, keep stepping, keep stepping at you. Keep stepping, keep stepping, keep stepping at you. Keep stepping at your own pace. Sweet. Okay. The playlist. Sorry, sweet, Kristen. Okay, sweet, Kristen. Thank you. All right. We're going to keep going. Dead press. Let's see. I don't know this song. Cool. I can't remember. People on. Where the G's at? All right. We'll see. I don't know if this song is rough or not. I can't really remember. <laughs> but this is the free hoop, y'all. Thank you so much. Fuck the police. Hey, y'all ready for this shit, y'all trunk? Y'all ready to get this bitch crunk? You got to get up right now. Turn the system upside down. It's supposed to be fed up by now. The cool system upside down. Honestly, I'm against this government. I ain't got to cover it up, that's what I meant. Sick of paying bills and I'm sick of paying rent. Seem like I work all the time but don't know where the money went. And the funny shit is we supposed to like this shit. But all y'all politicians could bite this dick. It's a war going on, uh, the ghetto is a cage. So they only give you two choices, be a rebel or a slave. So what you do, so I rebel. Like an ulcer in the belly of the beast, staying true to it. Since my whole street days in the blue Buick. Niggas been fighting so long, seem like I'm used to it. Now what y'all know about how the cool do it? True fluid, boots put the funk to it. Ain't nothing to it. This is for the cheese all the way to the bay. From Frisco to Oakland all over LA. You got to get up. Right Alright. Y'all ready for this? I want something a little bit less uh, intense right now. <laughs> I love Dead Press. But... Alright. Sorry y'all, changing the mix. Sweet. And in comes the two to the three and four. Then I drop the beat I have in store. Lay the lyrics on the top like a rug. Make it sound smoother. Let I make a dub. Enunciate well, so that you can tell. I am not illiterate. No, not even a little bit. Nothing like an idiot. Get it? You want the record? Cool, I'm with it. Let the rhythm trick you. Shake it cause it makes you. As I turn the knob to the door, you will skate through. Going like a nut, don't be a pop. And I let it play cause dress is funky and I for joining me tonight. This is our free hoop.
Drop it on the one, one, boy. boy. Maybe I could do more than just dreaming. This guy's I don't see you. And all that's in it uh, is my yeah. revelation. I think <laughs> I might just Thursday, make it. I hope you have a great time. Weekend. The time is taking too long. My friend Sheila will like be here in my way, so uh, I'm gonna stop stepping and fly. Uh, revelation. I type of one of you ever had say. a dream. <laughs> Feel so Girls, real, but uh, the weekend. next thing you know, his eyes open, and you're rolling over on the bed of the sofa, ground if you pull up. Once more, it happens again. I stand up, stretch out, and start wondering: Will I ever make it, or could I ever take it, or will it change my ways when I sit and think? I'm one in many, and a few in plenty. Simple, the odds are stacked high against me. The best days stuck in their ways, still undiscovered, while the rest they live out their days with dreams of nothing. I'm something, but I ain't gonna act to start fronting. Just to get attention And I ain't gonna waste none of my time Listening to what they say I'ma make, make it Day after day Keep on moving Cause fate gon' change But only those with the powerful will Can sway his gaze And maintain sanity As it comes your way Hey just woke up this morning, got to thinking Maybe I could do more than just dreaming The sky's the limit, and all that's in it is my revelation I think I might just make it One step at a time, but time is taking too long Feel like spreading my wings, so I'ma stop stepping and fly Revelation I just woke up this morning, got to thinking Maybe I could do more than just dreaming The sky's the limit, and all that's in it is my revelation I think I might just make it Make it one step at a time, but time is taking too long. Feel like spreading my wings, so I'ma stop stepping in the yeah. When I pick up the mic, I make the great escape, searching for a better place, going after dreams, and I ain't talking about a paper chase. Looking for the answers in life, it's like erasing time, dying every day. We're getting closer to that flat line. Think about my family, will I see him when I leave here? Nothing lasts forever, and I wonder, should I have fear? Is that the beginning of what we call the end? I don't understand the system that religious comprehend. Yo, I lost a few friends, and I wonder where they've been. I can feel them watching over me deep down within Even those not close, I can still feel the presence As if I might have known them, but that's just the human essence Having revelations of the truth When I'm in the booth, questioning the world's answers in search of proof Cause they all seem odd and wrong You either win or lose, but I think it's deeper than that So revelation, I just woke up this morning Got to thinking, maybe I can do more than just dreaming The sky's the limit, and all that's in it is my Revelation, I just woke up this morning, got to thinking Maybe I could do more than just dreaming The sky's the limit, and all that's in it is my revelation I think I might just make it One step at a time, but time is taking too long Feel like spreading my wings, so I'ma stop stepping in my revelation I just woke up this morning, got to thinking Maybe I could do more than just dreaming The sky's the limit, and all that's in it is my revelation I think I might just make it Make it yeah. one step at a time, the time is taking Thanks for saying, hey, yeah, we're gonna be here. Feel like spreading my wings, so I'ma stop stepping and fly. Revelation, yeah, as always, thank you, Sheila, for participating. This next song will be the absolute last song for us. Actually, we should probably not get kicked off. This is our last little closing meditation y bit.
Thank you, Cinda. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Oh, sweet. I was hoping you'd notice that. <laughs> sweet. Y'all have a great night. Thank you guys so much.